Please tell me this ain't true. Scooter Baggins. Please tell me this ain't true. You ain't really fixing to take scooters down uh, sentimental britches, the ones you got from Sinead last week that everybody knows about. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. And I, I know it. And you know it. You people watching this, y'all know this shit's true. He done got to hold them sentimental britches. And according to Durkee, or Scooter, whatever fuck's name is, Scooter Baggins is going to have a little bonfire out in the backyard, and he's going to live stream this shit, and he's going to burn them goddamn pants. Y'all know how much them damn sentimental britches mean to this boy. Goddamn, y'all trying to cross this man's soul, man. His sister gave him them damn pants. She did. She gave him to him right before she died. Lord, y'all, y'all, just stop and think for a minute what that what must have been going through that lady's mind the day she bought them britches for him. She would have probably never guessed in a million damn years where them damn pants eventually would end up up there in goddamn uh, New York City or wherever the hell he's from, or Delaware, I think it's Delaware. Would end up in Delaware in some Scooter Baggins fella's backyard in a bonfire getting burned and videotaped, live-streamed on the internet to, in some kind of sick, soul-crushing fucking uh, blow to goddamn, the, you know, to try to destroy the man's ego and to destroy the man's soul or some shit, man, I'm telling you. Like, man, this is some fucking cruel shit, man. Y'all, that's crazy. Like, I'd never do nothing like that. Scooter, I wouldn't do it, man. I, I wouldn't do that to you. Not like you're sending me in a bridge. goddamn. I mean, it's fucked up. It's bad enough that damn same girl stole your studio equipment. We ain't gonna get that goddamn album or that fucking podcast. Shit. Everybody always tries to clown Scooter for being a... For not being a good podcaster, or not being a good fucking guitar player, a good singer. Hell, y'all don't fucking know. The only thing we ever heard him do was fucking sing a couple of cover songs and play a few little cover songs on the damn uh, guitar. Y'all don't know. He might be a goddamn. Uh, he might really be the next Tom Petty. We never know though, cause we ain't, he ain't got studio equipment no damn more. That damn girl stole it. She gave it to him fair and square, and then took it right back when he fucking broke up with her. Imagine that. Ugh. I mean, it's bullshit. And then she doesn't give Scooter back his, his damn arch nemesis on the damn internet. He doesn't give him his prized possession, them sentimental britches. I mean, I just don't understand it. Why in the hell would she do this to him? She was talking a while back like she was all cool with him. Like she didn't want to get back together with him. But she was cool with him. She wasn't going to be cruel to him. And then she goes and does this shit. It's bad enough she let damn uh, Scooter Baggins fucking steal her away from him. But goddamn, man, y'all don't do this shit. They gonna do it any damn ways. I mean, shit. <clears throat> what you need to do is, Scooter Baggins, you need to do the right damn thing and take them sentimental pants and y'all need to put them in the damn mail and mail them back to damn Scooter's mama's trailer and damn, just be done with this shit. And don't y'all send them down, then mail them things in the damn West Virginia post office because we all know the damn West Virginia post office. At least the one in Bim ain't worth a fuck, man. That's the goddamn... That's the worst post office in the fucking, I mean, on the face of the fucking earth, man. Every damn thing gets mailed out of there don't make it to where it's going. And it's always some crazy, weird fucking reason that hardly ever, you ever hear, uh, ever, like that you have to, I mean, they have the ability to like call packages back. And even if you need to call one back, which normally they don't do even that, but if you need to call one back, they'll call like two of them back, one from either ends of the country. And, like, that don't ever happen. And that's why people don't get their stuff. And that's why one of them girls that ordered shit from Scooter, like, two years ago almost now, didn't ever get her shit. Because that damn post office. And there's been two or three other times where shit's done got lost in the mail. That poor Rick dude that ordered that shirt, like, a, almost a year ago now, shit, he ain't never going to get his. And that was mail from Virginia. My God. I mean, this man has the worst look with fucking mailboxes and fucking the, the postal service. I'm telling you. Dirty does. But look, that, that, but still, he at least attempts to feel the order. So y'all y'all, y'all need to cool it with the scam and shit. I mean, God damn, man. And then y'all fucking, I, just the whole thing with the sentimental pants. I remember a while back, they were saying a couple weeks ago, saying he had a, a, a bit of a crisis. And you know why he had a damn crisis? Probably because that day he found out that, that was probably the night he found out that damn girl Sinead. He didn't give Scooter Baggins his sentimental britches. I mean, shit, you know, it was a couple weeks ago, back when his family was rallying around him and all that. And, you know, everybody was let, letting all their beef go and stuff like that. Because the, they realized what, they, what it was. They realized that the haters, namely Scooter Baggins and all his edited videos... And some of them other fellas is on that damn Discord and on them damn U2s. They realized that that was all bullshit. They, none of them had ever said anything bad about any of them. Because they don't do that. They, they, they don't. I mean, I, I don't think they do. I've never personally heard any of them say it. Because I don't know any of these people. Really, I don't give a lot, but for argument's sake, we'll say they've never done that, okay? 
So they they all realized that and they rallied around Scooter and they 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 they're 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 they're, they're tight now, you know. They are, but I don't know though, man. This is fucked up. I don't know. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't sleep last night at thinking about that. Thinking about them poor that poor man sentimental breeches. He don't love nothing he loves nothing more in this world than them sentimental breeches. Like that's his most favorite prized possession. And they done got a hold of it. It reminds me of the time somebody got a hold of that damn uh, locale dude, Chris Chan. They done got a hold of his little medallion he used to wear around his neck. And they done stabbed the motherfucker and burned it and passed on it and filmed it and put it on the damn internet for that fella to see. I mean, it's like soul crushing shit for people like that, man. Shit, you can't do You can't do that. Y'all can't do that. What y'all should do, though, is mail them bricks back. And put some money in that man's cash out, because he is also out of the goodness of his heart, just like his sister out of the goodness of her heart and the kindness of her heart, bought him them sentimental breeches out of the goodness and kindness of Mr. Scooter's, Mr. Durkey's heart. He has agreed that if people will help him pay his Wi-Fi bill and I think his phone bill and fill up his cash out, that everything after that he that gets donated, he will personally donate to a family that's done lost a loved one recently. They lost a love. Either somebody passed away or they was in the hospital and got cancer or something. I don't know. But either way, he's going to give them folks some money. Now, he couldn't tell us who the fuck they were or anything like that. He couldn't say any names because if they did, then the haters would get a hold of it. And they'd go on the internet and start messaging people and be like, hey, y'all know this boy's raising money for y'all? And they'd probably be like, no, nah, we didn't know that, but we ain't seen no money from it. But, you know, and that's what happened. They try to make use that to make him look bad when he's trying to do a nice thing here. He's trying to, to raise money. You know, shit, I don't know. Maybe he's going, maybe he's trying to raise, help raise money for that fella that had all them GoFundMe, them GoFundMe pages up the other damn day. What was it, about eight, nine? I, I don't know. Don't really care. Ain't none of my damn concern. But, you know, hey, y'all need to get on there and donate to these folks. Shit. Y'all have done enough damage with your video editing and all this shit trying to make it turn this family against each other. And y'all have done even more damn damage, or about to, with Scooter Sentimental Bridges. Y'all quit playing with your Sentimental Bridges and give them damn things back. Quit fucking around. Give this man his shit back. Give him some fucking money. And let him be the, 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 the kind, good-hearted, generous man that he is and let him donate money to these folks. I mean, I don't know that the money will ever really get there, but again, he's going to send it through the mail over there in... Uh, in West Virginia, and we all know how shitty that post office is. That's the worst, worst post office in the fucking world. They lose every goddamn thing that he mails through there, and that's just how it is, you know. So he's probably going to mail it out through there, and in the meantime, whatever's left of that money, he's going to pocket of his. And hey, he tried to mail it out, but the post office didn't send it, so it's only fair that he keeps it after that and spends it on whatever he wants, you know. But hey, he tried, though. That's the point. And, you know, hey, he tried. He can't help it that the post office ain't worth a fuck over there, and it's terrible. But if you was to ask him, though, he'd say it's the best Virginia, and that's the best post office in the fucking world, and anybody says otherwise, a son of a bitch. I don't care who you are. But, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think the post office is the problem. I think it's probably user error at that post office, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, there's probably been very few times where he's actually visited that post office to mail anything. But then again, I don't know. But hey, y'all quit playing with this man's emotions like that with his pants. And give that shit back. And fuck, man, give that man a little bit of money too. So maybe we'll get that damn, get, maybe he gets some more studio equipment and we'll get that damn album and get that fucking podcast. Because he may be the next Joe Rogan. We don't know. And we never will fucking know because he ain't got no damn studio equipment. He can't, can't record shit. But, you know, he's going, he was going to record him an album right there in his mama's trailer. Man, do y'all realize how awesome that'd be to, to hear that album? Shit, I'd probably pay $20 to hear that shit. I mean, maybe 30 just to hear how awesome that would. Uh, hear an album that this man recorded in his mama's trailer. You you kidding me? Or a podcast that he recorded right there in that bedroom where he sleeps at and where he live streams at. I'd, man, that, that'd be awesome. I, I wouldn't pay money to hear that. I'm sure somebody else would eventually do, and then we'd, we'd all hear it then. But I'd pay money to hear that album, though, man. That'd be fucking awesome, man. I mean, it would just add to the fucking, the awesomeness that is Scooter, man. Y'all know it would. And y'all know I ain't lying with that one, man. Y'all know how it's going to be fucking amazing. Only if y'all get on there and fucking donate, damn it. 
And don't think them other folks that had all them GoFundMe's up. They probably need some money, too. Shit. Lord knows what's going on with that. But y'all help them folks out. Shit. They done fell on hard times. Give them folks some money. I mean, I don't know. Or not. I don't know. I don't care. I don't even know who the fuck that was or what the hell that was about. I just kept hearing shit about that the other damn day. Something about, I don't know. Oh, well, I'm get the fuck off here. Give that man back in, Bridges. Come on, for real. And give that man some money and get him some studio equipment so we'll get that album. Y'all know it's gonna be fucking awesome. I mean, it's just, it's gonna be, that's, it's just gonna be fucking epic, man. I know it is. I know it is. I know, I know it is. Cause, Scooter, I got your bag, man. I do, I do. Y'all don't believe me. Y'all think I'm full of shit. Hell, your cousin said you gonna put dance in my head a couple weeks ago. Goddamn. What the fuck, man? I don't know what that was about. I really don't fucking care. But he gonna put dance in my head. Goddamn. That's a couple days after she gonna put dance in your fucking head, too. Lord knows what the hell that was about. Because we all know Scooter don't talk bad about his family on there. That's them haters editing videos trying to turn everybody against each other in that family. Ain't that right, Scooter? That's right. You keep your head up, man. I got your back. These people ain't gonna get away with this shit. Fucking tampering with your sentimental britches like that. They ain't gonna get away with it. Scooter Baggins, you better watch it, young man. And let me tell you something. You better cut that shit out for real. Leave that man's pants alone. Give that man his bag. Hey, and y'all give him a little bit of money. Hey, we'll get that out, man. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be fucking awesome. Hey, I'm telling y'all, for real, it's going to be awesome.